you out there ladies and gents how's it going I've just got myself a little demo on this it's the Moto Guzzi V85 TT and it's their uh, limited edition touring spec one it comes with panniers but they've not given me the bike with them on it um, but it's quite a cool motorcycle I'm not too familiar with all the specs on it you can uh, go to the main Moto Guzzi website if you want to find out all the technical details and stuff this isn't a review it's just a first look and it's purely for my own reference really because I'm thinking about getting one of these now um, I don't have it for very long so my first impressions are really really very much so so um, it's not going to be a brilliant review so please don't take it as one it's just going to be me and my first impressions of how the bike feels and how it rides in comparison I guess to my V7 a little bit although it's an unfair comparison because my V7 is very much customized but anyway let's get out on the bike and keep that bike so one of the first things I noticed after swinging a leg over this is the incredible amount of legroom. Now, in a proper seating environment, I think my knees would be a little bit higher. Um, so obviously I'm a little bit shorter than the average person. But compared to all my other bikes, this is just a delight. I'd almost go as far as saying compared to all my other bikes, it feels like I'm standing up just on a very comfortable seat <laughs> it's quite lovely actually um, and is quite relaxing although I, I do feel I'd want my feet just a little bit higher I think I think I would I don't know it might be just me maybe if I got the low seat not that I need it specifically but maybe if I got the low seat I'd be able to uh, mitigate that just a little bit the clutch pull is incredibly light compared to my Moto Guzzi, uh, my V7 that is, uh, and that's lovely, that really is lovely. Um, I don't know what they've done but it's magical, it's magical, it's, it's almost like it's a hydraulic clutch and it's not, it's a cable clutch. I hate buses, you little bastards. The instruments look really really clear, I quite like that and um, although there's a lot of reflection on it which would mean that in sunlight coming behind you like I have at the moment it's almost directly behind me it does mean there's a lot of reflection there it would have been nicer if they'd done that as a sort of matte finish you can connect that up to your telephone on this particular version it comes with um, uh, MIA or something like that I can't remember what it's called exactly but it allows you to uh, use your phone sat nav and stuff like that all through the dashboard which is quite nice it's got cruise control I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to use that today just because of limitations of time and uh, I'm not hugely familiar with where I am in the world although I think this is Ditchling Road I think which might mean that I get to go up over Ditchling Beacon which will be nice because that's a very nice place to go up over so we'll find out where we end up in a second it's sitting there purring along quite nicely at low revs and I'm actually doing 30 and a 40 so let's give it some speed it is running in still so I can't give it full revs or anything like that but we can actually just see how it performs I'm getting a lot of buffeting I'm getting a lot of buffeting off that screen and uh, it's quite distracting and it's why I don't like motorcycles with fairings now the camera I've got is on my chin uh, so it's not on my eye line and actually I've got a very good view of the road here but here is better as far as the buffeting goes now my helmet's got a uh, peak on it I put that on to make it look like I was an adventure rider <laughs> border ponds um, and actually it's really annoying with this screen here so uh, this screen here on the touring version is bigger than normal on the standard version it's a little bit lower which would mean that quite possibly I'd be uh, up here compared to the screen which might now put your camera right in the buffeting um, but my head is now out of it so uh, yeah that that's a thing that's a thing now the engine's got a little bit of warmth in it the uh, gear change is getting a little bit nicer ideally I'd adjust the span in on that clutch lever but um, I'm a bit late to the party on that I should have done that uh, before leaving uh, the, the showroom now it's very lovely up here and a gorgeous gorgeous views I do hope that you can actually hear me speaking um, over all the buffeting because it's very invasive uh, I would definitely not want this screen if I was to get this motorcycle the handlebar position is really nice it's quite sort of neutral um, the twist for the throttle does feel a little stiff I don't know whether that's just in my head though 
Um, yeah, I'm not sure on that. It might be just because I'm in a different position. Uh, but let's just try this cruise control, shall we? Oh, I can't work it out. Oh, there we go. Okay, so now the cruise control is set. I've set it at about 45 miles an hour, um, just because there's twists and turns along here, and I don't want to crash into something. To uh, take the cruise control off, all I have to do is do either a throttle input or a brake input. So that's quite simple. I'm guessing I can just touch the cruise control button as well. It's chugging along in fourth gear. It doesn't seem to, seem to be stressing itself, but that's quite nice. Um, and uh, yeah, the bike actually feels really nice. The foot peg position is beginning to annoy me. Now, if I was wearing proper bike boots as opposed to my working boots, um, which have got a heel on them, it, it might make a little bit of a difference, but I don't think a huge amount. Um, if I was taller, I'd imagine it would be absolutely perfect, but I'm a short ass. So, let's see if we've got a straight bit coming up. Let's do the magic of this cruise control. So we're 46 miles an hour. Look, Mum, no hands. This bike's just riding itself. That is amazing. And uh, come average speed cameras and all that sort of stuff like we get more and more around the world, it would be really nice to be able to just stick the cruise control on at 50 mile an hour. And uh, yeah, that, that would do nicely, son. No more speeding tickets, all worries about speeding tickets. Now then, let's just get rid of that cruise control. And yeah, that's gone. Now I'm riding the bike, it's all mine. I'm steering, I'm controlling the throttle. Let's open it up. Again, it's very hard to tell how this engine is going to feel on a run-in motorcycle because I, I, I'm not on a run-in motorcycle. But it does feel a bit grunty. The guy at the shop there, he said that it feels very similar to a Motocutsu V7. Um, I don't know about that. Maybe the, uh, the later versions of the V7. Oh, it's a bit of crap on the road here. So this is Ditchling Beacon, by the way. It's very beautiful. Normally I come up here rather than down, but I'm missing out on a treat with all that view there, aren't I? Oh well, we're gradually going away from all that, and uh, you see this go through the tight twisties. Now obviously I'm not used to the motorcycle, so I can't really sit there and cane it around all these bends, and because it's someone else's motorcycle as well, um, who very kindly let them use it as a demo still while they're storing it for them. Um, yeah, I, I'm not going to take the mickey and thrash the hell out of this bike. So this review is purely just for my, my own personal thoughts and feelings about the bike. I am test riding another adventure style bike at some point soon. Um, and that will be interesting to compare it to. That one will have a little bit more room than this. But actually on an adventure bike, do you need more room? Do you really? I think the main thing you want is to be comfortable have enough go to be able to overtake and have uh, light handling because obviously once you start sticking some weight on it with luggage then um, it could all cause a few more problems for you I can't tell whether the engine braking on this is less than on my V7 but I definitely feel like my V7 is, is more in control around here maybe I'd be in a lower gear, I don't know maybe I just know that bike a little bit better um, I do feel a little bit disconnected from it all having such a long distance between the bars and the front wheel and that's not since just putting on the clip-ons on my V7 it's also to do with uh, the standard bars that I had on there uh, they were very much connected to what was going on and yet you're able to feel exactly what the bike was doing here it feels a bit wish wishy-washy and I think that's a trait of these longer swept bars um, I remember having a go on my mates uh, Kawasaki Z1000 whatever it was sports touring thing that he had and I, I felt the same on that um, and I've always sort of felt the same with these sort of bunny rabbit handlebars so I've thrown this bike around a couple of twisties or rather pushed it gently <laughs> tickled it around a couple of twisties um, so I've got some initial thoughts on it and I like it um, I would ideally take one of these out for a day just to understand how comfortable they were and uh, or what they're like for a little bit longer um, and I ideally again would like to have the luggage fitted as well that comes with the bike because uh, that gives you an idea of how easy it is to get on and off the size of the luggage and all that sort of thing but apparently one of the side panels you can fit 
a uh, full face crash helmet and the other one uh, is a bit smaller just because that's on the exhaust side talking of the exhaust this has the standard exhaust pipe fitted I believe and uh, it sounds okay it purrs along quite nicely quite unoffensive and that's probably what you'd want from a touring bike something easy on the ears that was pleasant rather than obnoxious and all that sort of stuff um, but it's also nice to have a little bit of character come through audio audiology type styly and the V engine is such a nice sound to it um, I'd probably want the sports exhaust just so that uh, you can hear it a little bit better but also um, not annoy the neighbours and those uh, busybodies in these places that have got these noise cameras coming I'm feeling the bike is incredibly easy to ride um, it does feel a lot bigger than everything I've got um, even the beta but then the beta's got a little bit littler hasn't it not that this is proper traffic but it's it's sitting fine um, I think it wouldn't be tiring in traffic because the clutch is so light uh, it's only the throttle that feels a little bit heavy and I don't know why I mean, it's, it's fly by wire so it shouldn't have any real resistance um, although it's probably sort of an artificial thing that they've put into it uh, just so that you feel like you've got feel um, yeah I'd, I'd, I'd want that just a little bit lighter maybe there's a, a different spring that you could put in that would take that away I don't know I don't know one thing that is annoying me is the side stand now most people will get the center stand option on these which it makes sense not that you've got to do chain maintenance but it is nice to be able to get the rear wheel up in the air um, in case you need to remove it and stuff like that to get tires changed so uh, yeah I'd probably go with the, the center stand on one but the side stand lug is literally right where my foot sits now maybe if I sat with my feet over the controls it would be fine but that's not actually how anyone rides a motorbike um, yeah it's just it's just in the way I mean at least that means that you can get to it quite easily but it's in the way when you're riding and you're going to be riding this more often than putting the stand down so I don't know that seems a, an odd choice of location for it okay so we're just about to climb onto a dual carriageway and we'll be able to give this a little bit more throttle and it gets up to dual carriageway speeds very easily um, and does feel like it's got plenty more to give the buffeting seems a bit less here I don't know whether that meant that we were in a lot of wind up on the, the beacon um, but yeah the buffeting seems to have gone but it's still very noisy I definitely want to try one with a low screen I think at 65 70 miles an hour I'm noticing a little bit of vibration coming through the saddle it's a little bit tickly it makes my bum feel like it's being cuddled and caressed by um, I don't know something with tickles <laughs> uh, yeah I think that would possibly get a little bit annoying I am wearing just motorcycle jeans as opposed to leathers and possibly leathers would take that away um, yeah at, at this speed the vibrations coming through the, sa the saddle there are just a little bit annoying if it was a girl doing that to my bum I'd be quite happy probably <laughs> but it's not it's a motorcycle <laughs> and over distance it could be uh, just a little bit yeah I just I don't think I'd like it over distance yep this is definitely going to be a decent mile muncher though so comfortable so lazy and with that cruise control as well um, you could set that up for 65 70 mile an hour and just go all day long um, and talking of all day long it's got a huge petrol tank I mean I don't know how huge it is as far as um, touring bikes or adventure bikes goes uh, it's 23 litre petrol tank and they say that's pretty much going to guarantee you 400 kilometers I don't know what that is in miles off the top of my head but it's a few and that's all right um, and something that I would relish um, what would be nice to know is whether you could stay on the saddle for a full tank of fuel without getting tired um, I've not got the time to do that I've got like nine minutes to get this bike back to him I hope the uh, Insta360 1X camera angle is working out 
Um, it bounced down a little bit um, over a bump or something or other. And I'm using their new mount and I like the claw on it, but I don't like the grippiness of their balls. Their balls are not grippy enough. <laughs> so, um, yes, Insta360, maybe look into that because it does seem to move around quite a little bit. One advantage of Brighton, motorcycles are allowed in the bus lanes, so I can just uh, mosey on past this little lorry, this tiny little lorry that's slowing everything up for us. Something I am beginning to notice again is to do with the uh, throttle is that it's uh, it's just putting a weird twist on my wrist and I don't know whether that's something that you could dial out by just adjusting the angle of the bars a little bit um, but yeah it's just just a little bit uncomfortable now I'm a bit weird my body is a little bit broken in some respects um, from various injuries and stuff in the past uh, but I don't believe my wrist is broken or injured or whatever come on taxi so before we get into the depths of Brighton and uh, snarled up in traffic which obviously takes a little bit more concentration than roads like this let's close up well, I like the bike um, the fact that I can get on and off it without needing a step ladder is a mega mega boost in confidence for myself and uh, I, I like the ergonomics ish the reach to the pegs is just a little bit too far for my personal taste um, but then I am half of a dwarf or something like that <laughs> uh, yeah so um, I like the fact that I can get on and off it easily um, I like the fact that I can get my foot to the side stand I like how it feels generally I like the fact it's got cruise control I don't like the screen I don't like the throttle thing there it might be to do with it having the heated grips built in making them a little bit fatter than I'm used to I've no idea I've no idea maybe I need to get more used to a chubbier cock <laughs> it's a nice bike it is a nice bike I could see myself on one of these um, I'd not get this version of it though because it's got the screen which I don't like um, and it's got the paint I don't like I'd want a nicer colour and I'd probably want different options as well so it would make sense for me to um, maybe spec up a different version of this if I was actually going to go and hand over my cash for one I don't know whether that's on the cards I'd like it to be but I don't know whether it's on the cards obviously Covid and all that uh, but what is on the cards is another test ride on a different bike which will have a few more ponies than this but still in a similar style so it's a very spacious bike it's very comfortable this one comes with panniers so I'd probably have to option them in it comes with fancy fog lights too don't really care about them um, yeah I mean I know if I was going touring then I would end up riding at night but uh, I don't know uh, uh, it's all things that can go wrong isn't it so I'm not sure if I would bother with fancy fog lights on it or whatever but having heated grips is nice though so um, I do like that it comes with them um, but again that's an option on the other versions of the bike uh, I have to uh, look at the spec sheets to work out if I was to buy one of these which one I'd go for and how I would spec it um, but in the meantime uh, let's sit in traffic anyway so I hope you enjoyed this very very brief first look at this motorcycle it's just an impression a snapshot it's not a review uh, you cannot get a review in half an hour riding a motorcycle okay so let's have another quick look around the bike just one more time just so you can have a little look at it um, and see some of the nooks and crannies that you can't see when it's being ridden and that you can't see um, from just a snapshot from the GoPro it's a good looking motorcycle it's definitely a good looking motorcycle and I'm not anti this paint it's just not my first choice and I think it's important to have a bike that you look back on and go yeah that's my first choice that's the bike I would have if I was buying another motorcycle again I like it the seat is a bit buzzy at 65 miles an hour the screen is a little bit tall for me and causes uh, buffeting the cruise control is nice, 
don't care for the fog lamps particularly, but I don't hate them. If they came on the bike, then I'd be fine with that, but I don't know if I'd want to spend 200 odd quid or whatever it is for them. It's come with a standard shock absorber on this one. They do a uh, upgraded one with adjustable doobies. This is the standard exhaust pipe, I believe. And again, they do a sports version of that. Not sure who makes that. Um, and uh, this comes with different tires as well, I believe, from the other ones. It's got some nice bits of attention to detail. You've got the Modoguzzi um, emblem in the lights there on the daylight running lights. That's quite nice. Um, I think these are bulb indicators. I don't know. I think they do LED ones as an option. You've got the rack here, which allows you to put on the luggage. And you can also get a top box for it as well. Although this particular version only comes with two side panels. They look quite neat on it from the pictures I've seen. But um, yeah, I haven't seen them in the flesh with them on, which would have been nice to be able to see. But this is someone else's bike. I do very much appreciate that they've allowed me to ride someone else's bike. So um, I should really get it back to them and let them uh, polish it up. Right, if you haven't done so already, please do click that subscribe button. It'd be awesome to have you come back for some more. And uh, if you like this sort of video, I've got another one coming for the other bike I'm going to be test riding. I'm not a review channel, but if I get bikes to ride, I will review them in some extent, even if it's just a first look like this one. I've got another uh, Moto Guzzi of my own. I've got a V7, which I've very much customised. Um, some of you may have seen that around the forums. I've got a Triumph 765 Street Triple at the moment, and uh, I've also got a Beta 390 Enduro bike, which I do very amateur green laning on. So there's all sorts of stuff that you might find you like about my channel um, and you might find you want to stick around and see some of it. So anyway, whatever's. If you like this video, why not give it a little thumbs up? We like them. We like them a lot. And if you didn't like this video, you can always give it a little thumbs down. That's all cool. All cool in the school. We don't mind at all. But whatever you do, please do drop in a comment. I love hearing from you. And uh, yes. Um, anyway, you ride safe. Take care. And I shall catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye for now. Keep that bike from aside down. Hey, no, you gotta keep that bike from aside down.